What end? What was the relationship between these gargantuan stones and the planets above them? There is a theory that in addition to the influence of the sun and the moon and the power of the eclipses, that Stonehenge has a connection with the influence of Saturn. Uh, this comes from a theory that was proposed, I believe in the 1980s originally, that the inner so-called horseshoe of stones that are made of blue stone, which comes from Wales, which is hundreds of miles away from Stonehenge itself, reflected this influence. And that because they were directional, they sort of pointed towards the influence of Saturn. Now, if we visualize this on the ground, we need to see that Stonehenge represents Saturn and it has 30 lintels going around it. And Saturn takes exactly 30 years to make one round of the zodiac. Any astronomer and an astrologer will tell you that's called a Saturn return. It's a 30 year cycle. So I feel that's why there was 30 lintels at Stonehenge. Our ancient ancestors did everything for a meaning. Nothing was by chance. Everything had a metaphysical and a physical property in the ancient world of Stonehenge. We need to now imagine along that line, going further along it, that there was another ancient site called Marden. Marden was a superhenge. Den is an old English word for settlement, and Mars means Marden, the settlement of Mars. And that's where Mars was situated in the ancient landscape and brought down to Earth. They were bringing heaven to Earth. Moving further up the lake, you have the sun and the moon represented by Avebury Henge, which contains the largest stone circle in the world. And if the ancient ones came from As Mars. As Stonehenge slowly falls into ruin, scientists are digging deeper for answers about the true purpose of these stone megaliths. The site was comprised of an inner circle of smaller blue stones set in a horseshoe arrangement, surrounded by a larger external wall of 60 million year old silicified sarsen sandstones. 50 remain standing today, but originally it is believed there were many more. The mass of the largest is comparable to the weight of a fully loaded cement truck. They say that Stonehenge was built by giants. Stones? After all, these are enormous stones. It was a great engineering feat. They say the stones came from Africa. That they have been studied. They came from nearby, except for a circle of blue stones that were in addition. They did not exactly come from Africa, but they came from the coast. And the trade with Africa was from the coast. They were not as massive as the major stones of the Henge but they were still brought from a great distance. This massive thing was built at a time where it was quite a task to build it. Not for them.